Tell us more about your piece, Margaret. So this piece uses clay dug from the construction site here. In fact, Amazing. 10 people from my studio came with me. We dug 10,000 pounds of clay. 10,000 pounds. Brought it back to the studio. And that was one year ago, last October. And then I started work on this piece. It occupied the whole floor of my studio. And we made the backer board, and then I layered it up over the course of the year. Wow. Um, yep, separating clays from the site. And there are, there are artifacts from the site also. There's some roots and some tree branches. There's a bolt. There's a survey marker, a piece of bent rebar. All these kind of details that clue you into construction site and earth. And then you see it's a map of the area and you can start to understand that it is from this site right here. Can you talk more about the grid that's formed? Is this, is, was, was this naturally occurring or did you have to? Well, the, so there are a couple of different grids. There's the sectioning of the panels, which was a design and we kind of offset that to accommodate the ar architecture. So it's not just a straight grid with every panel being the same size. Yes. And then there's the cracking and sectioning of the clay, which is something clay does naturally on its own. As wow. clay dries, it cracks. But one thing that I like to do is if you disturb the clay before it dries, it will crack along those lines. So Amazing. any drawing lines that you put in it, like the mapping lines, clay will crack with respect to those lines. Wow, this is incredible. Thank you. Incredible. Thank you, Margaret. My pleasure. Thank you.